Not too far from where you are, there's a forest. In the forest, there are lots and lots of trees. In the summer, they glow with bright green leaves, and the sunlight sparkles between the branches. In autumn, the leaves turn orange and brown and gold. Then they fall and cover the forest floor. But if you're lucky, you might also find a conker or an acorn. And on a very lucky day, you might also see a little fellow who's very good at collecting them. There he is! Every day, Cedric the squirrel goes out into the woods and looks for acorns and nuts he can find to take home. Oh, look, he's found one. I wonder what he's going to do with it. I think he's going to take it home. Yes, there he goes, up the tree and inside. I say, what a nice home you have. I like the wallpaper. Where are you going to take that acorn now? Ah, yes, put it on the shelf with the rest of them. How many do you have? Oh, my. That's quite a collection you have, Cedric. After a hard day's work, Cedric decided to go to bed. He turned out his light and went to sleep. Next morning, however, he was woken with a nasty shock. The whole house shook, and an acorn dropped off the shelf and fell onto his head. Ouch! he thought. I better see what's happening. He went to have a look. To his horror, men were cutting down the trees in the forest. Scared, Cedric tried to run and hide. A while later, he came back to the forest. There was a terrible mess. Most of the trees had been cut down. Cedric scuttled over to the stump where his tree once stood. He was so sad, he began to cry. He went inside his house, which was in a terrible mess. He hoped to find some things to take for when he found somewhere else to live. He opened the door of his room, and his collection of acorns poured out on top of him. Cedric was surprised, but then he had an idea. He packed up all his acorns and took them out into the forest. He planted them, one by one, into the ground until he had none left. Then he waited. Then Cedric saw a shoot coming out of the ground. Then another, and another. Suddenly, new trees began rocketing out of the ground, one by one where Cedric had buried his acorns. The forest was coming back, one tree at a time. At last, the forest was grown again. Cedric couldn't believe his eyes. He was so happy. He looked at the forest. It was just as it should be again. This is brilliant, Cedric thought. The forest is back again. Then, as he looked up at the leaves, an acorn dropped from a tree, right into Cedric's hand.